Thank you for voting me. Since this is the final round of Game of Recipe of Season 3, I decided to prepare something in Thai. Thai cuisine I'm going to make today. From the main course, the starter and the dessert, all the three dishes of Thai dish. So I'll um, guide you individually when whatever I'm preparing. I'll tell you all the ingredients accordingly uh, when I'm preparing the dish. Alright? All you guys are ready? So with the dessert, today I'm going to make Thai mango pudding. Mango pudding with using banana cups. So I'll tell you all the ingredients what I'm doing for that. So here at the... I'm going to use a basic, you can use any varieties of mangoes, whatever, whichever you are like. This is the badam mango, which is uh, one of my favorites. So I choose to use this. And uh, I've already uh, prepared the puree of mango. Uh, remove the skin and you can just make the puree. And uh, I'm going to use one and a half cup of milk. I'm going to use one fourth uh, spoon of uh, corn powder and uh, equal amount of sugar since I'm not going to make this extra sweet and raw banana for the cups. So first we'll prepare the banana cups. For the banana cups we'll use raw banana. We'll unskin the entire banana. And we're going to use, we're going to slice this up. The pieces should be this small for the cups. We'll prepare the banana cups and meantime we'll make the mango pudding also. So I'll show you both in. Come. For the cups, add some oil. We'll start the gas. Let it heat up and for the puree, we'll add the puree to the We'll add the sugar to this, so let it melt. Keep it in a low flame. Let the sugar melt. We'll add milk to this. And keep uh, moving. So let this cook for a while. You have to keep stirring. And meantime, we'll add the chopped banana to this. And let this also fry for a while. Until this turn a little brown. Now this is ready. See you have to fry it till it turns a little brown from all the sides. We will close the gas. Meantime we will also check what's happening with the pudding. Now we will take some and add the rest of the milk to the cornstarch. Mix it well. And clear all the lumps so that it doesn't form any lumps. Mix it very well. This is how it should be. While this is cooking, we'll add this slowly by slowly to this and mix it well. So it doesn't form any lump. Keep mixing. 
and keep it on the medium flame for another 10 minutes. See, this is how thick it will become. Keep mixing, keep mixing. And the pudding is almost ready. It's for another 2 minutes. And then it's all done. Then we can refrigerate this because pudding is always fun to have when it's cold. We will add this in a bowl and keep it on a refrigerate for a while. Make sure it is formed this thick. Now with this, to make cups, we are going to use the lime squeezer and we will put the foil in this, like this, to make cups. And add this banana, the one which we fried. Press it gently. Aha, that's how it is formed. You can use foil, you can use flings to make this. See, this is how you make the banana cups. Now we will, the cups are ready. See how beautiful this looks. And the pudding. Now we are going to refrigerate for 2 hours. Meantime we will start with the starter and main course. So we kept this for an hour more. And my banana cupcake is also very nice and yummy. Now we will add the mango pudding to this. Wow. See. My pudding is also nice and thick you can see so here in this we have not used any gluten it is gluten free no uh, no jelly anything to make this pudding this is purely with sugar milk and mango and corn flour just for the little thickness that's it hope you guys try this at home and love it so now i'm gonna make thai starter I'm going to make Thai crispy fried egg salad which is also known as Yum Kai Dao. It's a very famous Thai um, salad in Thailand. So I'll st show you the dressing and what all I've used for that. So here I have used spring onion which I have sliced and kept it. I have used some fresh onion which is also again sliced and kept. I have used capsicum again sliced it and tomatoes which I have removed the seeds and I have sliced it again. We are going to use celery for the dressing. We are going to use two eggs which I am going to deep fry for the dressings. I am going to use a little bit of dark soya sauce, fish sauce, some lemon juice, some salt some sugar very little bit of sugar to balance the taste and two green chilies i was supposed to use thai chilies but it was not available also it's way too spicy we can use the alternate that is green chilies so first we're going to crush the green chilies so we're going to use one spoon of fish sauce for this You can use a little more as per your taste. We are going to use half of lime juice. We are going to a little bit of sugar. A little salt. And the crush of chili. Crushing is always better when you are preparing anything in Thai dish. The flavor of the vegetables actually come out when you start crushing it. This is how we are going to prepare the dressing. Since we prepared the dressing, now we are going to fry egg. 
So I'm going to show you how we're going to fry egg for this specific uh, salad. So frying egg, we're going to use excess oil in fact, you see. Because we need crispy egg for this. And I'm going to heat it. Put it in a bowl. So single, single egg we're going to prepare each time. Make sure the oil is really hot and on little medium flame. You have to really fry it, deep fry it. This is how it should be crispy fried. This is all done. Super fried. We're going to remove this. Since it has an excess oil, we're going to remove the tissue. I'm going to put it on a... Same way, we're going to follow up with the second one. Make sure the egg is crispy and super fried. This is how actually this Thai people make the yum kai dao, the crispy fried salad. Now we have to cut this thing. Little chop pieces by piece. See, you can feel the crispiness when you're chopping. Must try this thing at home. This is really, really one of my favorite. Now we will mix in entire chopping, whatever we did from starting from spring onion to fresh onion to capsicum and tomatoes adding celery also to this let's chop it with a hand and give a little bit of flavor to this make sure you use all only the leaves We have added everything to this salt, sugar, chili, uh, fish sauce. We'll also add soya sauce to this. One spoon of soya sauce is enough. Mix it well. And add the entire dressings to it. sauce is the main ingredient for a, any Thai dish and at last we'll add the crispy fried egg wow this is so yummy and colorful this is one of my favorite salad because it's very 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 healthy So now we are going to prepare the main course. So for the main, my main course is Thai peanut chicken noodles. So this is from my fresh garden. I am going to use lemongrass for this dish. It smells so good. Let's start with it. Here we are going to use fresh pressed piece of chicken. And uh, this is rice noodles. We just go to put this in boiling water and leave it. Like uh, not let it to boil, but just uh, just keep it for like five minutes in the water which has already been boiled. For this, I have made fresh peanut butter at home. You can get it from market, but I prefer making it fresh. All I have did is add some water to peanuts and grind it, and this is how you're gonna get the paste. I'm gonna use coconut milk to this to make the gravy. Oops. 
ginger garlic pieces this is for the sauce fresh ginger i am going to use the red chili which i have kept in water for like half an hour i have removed the seeds or from top and uh, that have soaked in water to make the paste here again i am going to use some fish sauce i am going to use the dark soy sauce too and lemon grass so first i'll prepare the noodles like i said we just have to keep in the boiling water so i have kept some water for boiling once it starts boiling i'll just add the noodle since it's already boiling i'll just close the thing and just add this to it we're going to leave this for like 10 15 minutes meantime i'm going to make the chicken and sauce so first go we going to make the for to marinate chicken we going to make the sauce we going to clean the lemon grass so for lemon grass the actual flavor is your right here in the the bottom part of it we have to clean it remove the stem see this is the this is the main part for lemon grass so we're going to crush this again we're going to add the red chili which i have kept for soaking and some garlic Six to seven garlic, and we're gonna crush. So this is all ready. We're gonna use this for marination. Please use your spoon. I'm used to using my hand, but since this is very spicy. spoon now to this we going to add salt as per required add fish sauce one spoon of fish sauce to this So this is we use for the chicken. I have used the chicken breast. We don't need to keep it for very long for the marination. We can directly fry this since it will take all the flavor to this. So the noodles is also ready, but we will leave it till the other part is uh, of the dish is ready. Now we're going to fry a chicken using a non-stick pan. I can add some oil to this. So let it fry for like a five to ten minutes on each side. Meantime, our chicken is getting fried. Let's make the sauce for the dish. For the sauce, we're gonna take a pan, add some oil to this. very little we going to add ginger 
garlic and chopped and we will add peanut butter peanut sauce to this peanut paste I have used uh, 50 grams of peanut for this. To this, we are going to add coconut milk, half a pack of this, maybe like uh, 2 tablespoons, depends on how much of sauce you want to make. So this will add a little bit of soy sauce. We also want to add honey, one spoon of honey to this to balance the taste. There's an alternate for this. We can also use maple syrup. A little pinch of salt and some pepper, fresh pepper. So now the sauce is ready. This is how thick it should be. So now we will prepare the noodles. For this we will add a little of this sauce to the noodles. And we will scrape the cucumber. Same way, we're gonna add carrot to this. This will add a little bit color and the taste. Mix it well. Finally, we mixed it well and the noodles is also ready. Finally, the chicken is also fried and ready. Look at the color, it's come out so beautiful. Both the sides it's fried well. And it's become very nice and juicy. My Thai cuisine is ready. I have made all the three cores over here. The main course, which is called Thai peanut chicken uh, noodles. I have also made Yum Kai Dao, which is a Thai crispy fried egg. And I have also made a lovely pudding, mango pudding, uh, using a banana cup. How hope you guys try this at home and this looks really yum to me and of course the rest of it thighs usually your notice i have used sugar or uh, i have used honey uh, in every uh, whatever i prepared the reason is because thai they balance their taste with sweet and salt so hope you guys also try this i hope it's not at all difficult i know people rush going to thai restaurants all the time but uh, I choose making everything at home. So this is why one of the my favorite cuisine I've tried making at home. Hope you guys also like it. Vote me and enjoy whatever I have prepared till now. And uh, hope I win season uh, 3.
three of games of recipe thank you all the teams everyone who have supported me and all the viewers who have also watched and liked my food hope you guys also like this one and please vote me for this season thank you